Intervening in the multiverse is something I vowed never to do again. But there is no other choice. That is why I'm asking for your help one last time. So, who's our bad guy? The fabric of reality is breaking, and only you can stop it because you are causing it. What if? What's going on, guys? Bart here with Tully Television, and I want to thank all of you for stopping by, liking, commenting, and sharing all that beautiful YouTube stuff. I want to thank again for all the subscribers that are new, old, for continuing to help grow our community. Only together can we go straight to the moon, baby. Today, I'm finally going to be wrapping up uh, What If, Season 2, Episode 9, after, uh, I guess, yeah, it was released like about a month ago now at this point. Uh, finally wrapping this up. Um, the season finale of season two, What If Strange Supreme Intervened. Of course, our boy Jeffrey Wright as The Watcher. He's got a new movie out where he plays an author and has to fake stories in order to uh, become popular because what he writes about. It's a long story. Maybe I'll watch that movie one day, though, and get into that movie. It won a bunch of awards recently. Uh, Haley Atwell as Captain Carter. Um, Cucumber Batch, uh, Benedict's Eggs Over Easy is Strange Supreme. Obviously, I mean Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, sir, I'm only playing with you if you happen to come across this. No effect, no offense or malice on my end. I just think it's funny. Cumberbatch. I don't know. Uh, De Devry Jacobs as Kahari, Kate Blanchett as Hella, Theodore Chin as Wen Wu, Josh Keaton as Steve Rogers, and Stanley Tucci as Dr. Erskine, of course, the professor who created the Super Soldier Serum that imbued Stephen with his powers and in this universe, Captain Carter. Now, where we left off in episode 8 and in episode 6, where Strange Supreme approaches, uh, I want to say uh, Ahari, Kahari, I don't know why I keep forgetting this K there, uh, he approached Kahari and eventually Captain Carter about uh, needing help. And when Captain Carter made it to his sanctum, infinitum, infinitum meaning like a, an endless uh, sanctum, right? Um, he explains how he's been collecting multiversal threats in order to help save as many universes as he can. And... Uh, he's hoping that Captain Carter can help him with uh, apprehending someone uh, at this point. And it winds up being Kahari. And you wonder, well, he asked Kahari for help. Why is he now uh, chasing her? And we find out that once Captain Carter catches up to Kahari, which we get a nice little... Um, Easter egg of the Quicksilver uh, Hawkeye scene where Quicksilver is running around real fast and, you know, trips him up. And he's like, oh, you didn't see that coming now, did you? Uh, which, it's a shame we don't have that Patreon no more, man. That, shame. What a shame. Uh, but we get a similar thing here with Kahari running around. It's uh, Captain Carter trying to uh, slow him down. And we finally learned that not only has Stephen Strange been, or Strange Supreme, collecting uh, multiversal threats, he's also collecting beings that are not a threat, but are, like, basically someone who's a hero. Uh, because of the power they imbue, 
uh, he has reverted back to wanting to bring Christine back, uh, his Christine back to reality, back to the land of the living. Even though at the end of season one, it seemed he made a turnaround and wanted to uh, redeem himself from causing so much uh, destruction and mayhem and chaos. But it seems like he couldn't control himself again. Uh, his sorrow, his rage about losing uh, the love of his life. And that's when we find out that the ultimate plan is to take all these beings and uh, basically absorb their power and find the right uh, variables in order to bring Christine back. Uh, there's a ton of Easter eggs in this, uh, in the backgrounds, right? Uh, we get different characters from different, uh, realities and dimension. We still, we see Killmonger and Ultron even from the end of, uh, season one. And at some point, Captain Carter actually goes against Killmonger with the, with the Infinity Stones, uh, gems, whatever. I'm used to calling them Infinity Stones for some reason. I think that's what I grew, grew up with them knowing in my head. Uh, and in the books, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's really... Uh, and then we see Hela, we see Surtur, uh, we see uh, Happy Hogan's of the free character again. Uh, we, see, we see a vision... We just see a ton of characters in here that are all from the multiverse and are battling each other. You know, one of those standard things. And ultimately, uh, Kahari and Captain Carter face off against uh, Supreme Strange and uh, eventually uh, overwhelm him and just wind up saving the day. And then we kind of like just pick up with the uh, last little things of kind of the Watcher asking Peggy what she's going to do. And eventually she'll settle down, but, you know, she's going to just do some traveling and stuff. And Kahari, you're going to assume, is going to go back to her tribe and uh, help her world out and stuff like that. Uh, but... We wrap up season two, and I think that at the end of the day, I enjoyed season two a bit more than season one, and I definitely will be happy to see this show return. Now, of course, not every episode I enjoyed. Uh, there are some more uh, I enjoyed better than others. I think that for the my top three for the season was... The Avengers story that was set in the 80s, the 1602 Avengers, uh, t you know, where they are in the year 1602. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what other episode. I, I would have to say probably this episode is up there with all the Easter eggs and to see uh, Peggy's story maybe wrap up for the time being right but um yeah i have to say as an overall thing i'd give this season an eight out of ten i'd give this particular episode maybe a nine out of ten just for the depth of uh characters that are in it that you can only imagine what their backstories are and hopefully uh get uh to a place where, you know, maybe the strange Supreme story is now done. Maybe Captain Carter's story is done for the time being. Uh, being she kind of played a big part in season one and season two. A uh, character that I'd like to see return back is maybe Kahari in season three. Um, because it's going to be kind of hard to create that character uh, to be in modern day MCU in a way, without it being a multiversion, multiversal version of her that somehow uh, 
got sucked into our time period, right? But, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this season. I want you to let me know down below what you have thought about it. And as always, of course, it's peace, Snookums.